Titaram, everyone, and welcome once again to another session, another installment of Connecting Through Bhajans. We are definitely in a blessed period as we celebrate and observe the period of Navratri. So at this point, let's all adopt a mode of prayer as we close our eyes and clasp our hands and focus on that divine Lord as we join in in vocational mantras. Om Sri Ganeshaya Namaha Kante me jin ke virajita hala hai Ganga jalam shishipi Bae anga viraji jin ke giri ja Patni swayam palviti Nandi kartik ganapati ke sahita Kedar nata prabhu Kedar giri te sedahi rehiti Karate sada mangalam Mangalam bhagavan vishnu Mangalam garuratvaja Mangalam parvati nata Sarva mangala mangalam Om shanti 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 So Sitaram once again and a very special welcome to one and all as we join hands together as members of the Spring Village Mandir to worship the Divine. So as we start off this evening, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Ati Chansi to do a bhajan for us, uh, followed by Sanya, uh, Miss Joy, uh, Mrs. Singh, and then I'll do the next bhajan. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Namaste, everyone. Thank you, Govin. Um, it, is an in, it is indeed a very blessed time. And... You know, we really should take advantage of any opportunity that we get to come together and praise the Lord. So let us put our 100% into this evening's uh, devotion. Niranjani Sai Bhavani Niranjani Sai Bhavani Jagajanani Anand Dayani Jagajanani Anand Dayani Niranjani Sai Bhavani Durga Lakshmi Narayani Durga Lakshmi Narayani Shri Kamalasana Mursavahini Shri Kamalasana Mursavahini Niranjani Sai Bhavani <clears throat> Jagajanani Anandadayani Jagajanani Anandadayani Niranjani Sai Bhavani Durga Lakshmi Narayani Durga Lakshmi Narayani Shri Kamalasana Mosavayani Shri Kamalasana Mosavayani Niranjani Namaste. Jai Ambe, Jai Ambe, Matu Bhavani, Jai Ambe, 
Sitaram, dear sisters and brothers, we are really fortunate to be able to worship in this manner this evening. And uh, for those who have joined in, I see there are 10 participants. Um, I hope that we will make full use of this opportunity that is presented to us during this most auspicious time of the year, Navaratri. Jai Narayani Jai Jai Durge Jai Jai Amme Namu Nama Jai Narayani Jai Jai Durge Jai Jai Amme Namu Nama Tera Pavan Sumiran Karate अंधर में सुख भरे आता रोम रोम में प्रेम तिहारा मन में भक्ति बिखर जाता जय कल्याणी जय जय दुर्गे जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा Jaya Narayani Jai Jai Durge Jai Jai Ambe Namu Nama Manantar Me Mantra Bano Tum Jeeva Naye Gun Jado Ma Janam Janam Ke Santa Poko Tejasi apani jala do ma Jai Rudrani Jai Jai Durge Jai Jai Ambe Namu Nama Jai Narayani Jai Jai Durge Jai Jai Ambe Namu Nama मंगल साथी देने वाली मन वंचित फल बरसाया द्वार तिहारा आखे मैया 
कोई खाली नहीं चाहता जय ब्रह्मा जी जय जय दुर्गे जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा जय नारायणी जय जय दुर्गे जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा ध्यान भजन हम निश दिन करते मन में जपते नाम विमा शरण परे तो एक सहारा मैं या तेरा चरण कम जयति शिवानी जय जय दुर्गे जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा जय नारायणी जय जय दुर्गे जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा जय जय अम्बे नमो नमा थैंक यू Sitaram once again, everyone. Jai Vidhi Shwari Daya Karuma Shiva Shankari Kripa Karuma Jai Vidhi Shwari Daya Karuma Shiva Shankari Kripa Karuma परितीश्वरी रक्षा करो माँ परितीश्वरी रक्षा करो माँ साईश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ साईश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ परितीश्वरी रक्षा करो माँ परितीश्वरी रक्षा करो माँ साईश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ साईश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ सो एस वी कंटिन्यू अलोंग विद बजन्स आई लाइक टू आस्क अम सीमा टू डू अ बजन फॉर अस फॉलोड बाय मिसेस रामदात सी थैंक यू एवरीवन ईशार देवा ईशार देवा अज्ञान का से हमीदार देवा ईशार देवा ईशार देवा अज्ञान का से हमीदार देवा तू सर्ग देवी असंगीत तुझसे हर शक तेरा है हर गीत तुझसे तू सर्ग देवी असंगीत तुझसे हर शक तेरा है हर गीत तुझसे हम है अकेले हम है अधूरे तेरी शरण हम हमें प्यार रे माँ 
Jai Sitaram, everyone. Let's me Maya Utare Tere Arati Barasado Makripa Sabaki Maya Doko Setum Hitarati Barsado ma kripa Lakshmi maya Andhan de ne wale tu hi tu hi jag ko pale Andhan de ne wale maya tu hi jag ko pale Daya se teri hum sab jeeve sab ko tu samhale Daya se teri hum sab jeeve sab ko tu samhale Lakshmi maya utare tere aarti Barasado ma kripa sab ki maya Dukho se tum hi taarti Barasado ma kripa Lakshmi maya Teri bhakti jagi dil me nas din karte vandan Teri bhakti jagi dil me nas din karte vandan 
तू है शक्ति परमेश्वर की काता सबके बंधन तू है शक्ति परमेश्वर की काता सबके बंधन लक्ष्मी मैया उतारे तेरे आरती बरसा दो मा कृपा सबकी मैया तुखो से तुम ही तारती बरसा दो मा कृपा लक्ष्मी मैया प्रेम के दीप जला दे मैया आरत तेरे उतारे प्रेम के दीप जला दे मैया आरत तेरे उतारे हे जग ज्योति कष्ट निवारिण हर ले नांधिया रे हे जग ज्योति कष्ट निवारिणी हर ले नांधिया रे लक्ष्मी मैया उतारे तेरे आरती बरसा दो मा कृपा सबकी मैया दुख से तुम ही तारती बरसा दो मा कृपा लक्ष्मी मैया शरण तिहारी आये मैया मंगल तीरथ गाये शरण तिहारी आये मैया मंगल तीरथ गाये हाथ जोर कर बिनती करती चरणन शीश झुकाये हाथ जोर कर बिनती करती चरणन शीश झुकाये लक्ष्मी मैया उतारे तेरे आरती बरसा दो मा कृपा सबकी मैया दुखो से तुम ही तारती बरसा दो मा कृपा लक्ष्मी मैया बोलिए श्री लक्ष्मी माता की जय Thank you very much, and to all those that would have participated so far, thanks again. So at this point, I'll pass over to Sanya for our Bachu Kakand segment. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bachu Kakand. We'll be starting off tonight's segment with this. ओम सहनौ सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर करवागहे तेजस्वी नागदी तमस्तु मावृदिशावहे ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम Tonight, our presenters are Sneha and Tiara and myself. Sneha and Tiara will be singing the bhajan Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati, and then I will be doing a discourse on Navratri. I will now pass over to Tiara and Sneha. Sitaram, Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati. साई जगन माता श्री दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती साई जगन माता साई जगन माता मम पाई जगन माता साई जगन माता मम पाई जगन माता साई जगन माता मम पाई जगन माता साई जगन माता भाई जगन माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती साई जगन माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती साई जगन माता साई जगन माता भाई जगन माता साई जगन Jai Durga 
सरस्वती साई जगन्माता सीताराम सीताराम माय डिस्कस इज बेस्ड ऑन सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ नर ऑफ नवरात्रि व्हाई इज नवरात्रि सेलिब्रेटेड दिस इज टेकन फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट द आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग Navratri means nine nights. Nava means nine, and Ratri means night. Night provides rest and rejuvenate rejuvenation. During the night, you turn inward, through sleep, and you wake up feeling refreshed and rest in the morning. In in the same way, Navratri of or the nine nights is that same of the year when you get the chance to experience deep rest. This deep rest brings re brings freedom from all kinds of botheration deep relaxation and creativity fasting meditation prayers and other spiritual practices performed during this period helps bring deep rest even refraining from other indulging in sense objects during this time aid the process of attaining deep rest our spirit the source of deep rest Our spirit has existed since time immemorial. This is the boundless and the eternal source of energy of this universe. During Navratri, even the subtle energies in the environment enhance and assist one's experience of reaching the spirit. The prayer chanting and meditation performed during Navratri connects us with our spirit, getting in touch with. Getting in touch with the spirit invokes positive qualities within us and destroys laziness, pride, obsession, craving, and aversion. When stress in the form of negative emotion is destroyed, we experience the deep rest of transforming the nine nights. Devi Puja, honoring the omnipresent energy. Devi represents the omnipresent coming cosmic. energy the whole creation is permeated by this energy the the prosperity that we enjoy in our daily lives is a manifestation of devi mother divine serves us in so many forms the form of our mother father friends and hu- husband wife and son daughter and also the guru the revolving planet on and the moon is devi performing arti to us Through puja, we say, "Oh Mother, whatever you give to me, I give back to you." For example, during the puja, we offer food grains to the Devi as nature provides us with food. Devi puja is an expression of expanded consciousness, showing showing reverence to the whole creation. The puja that we perform during the nine days of Navratri. is we, is a way of honoring the devi and showing our gratitude to the mother divine while attending the puja we give up all our worldly activities for a while and enter into deep meditation gurudev shri shri ravi shankar says there is devi energy shakti within all of us devi is not somewhere else not in some other world If we sit, if we sit in deep meditation, the glow within the body will brighten and will expand and spread outside. This is Devi Puja. Navada Durga and significance of each day of Navratri. Devi is worshipped in nine forms, known as Navada Durga. This this significance of each day of Navratri is attached to the form of the Mother Divine. First day, Shaila Putri. On the first day, Devi Shaila Putri is worshipped. In this form, Devi Parvati is revered as the daughter of the of the Himalaya Raja. Shaila means extraordinary or rising to great heights. The divine consciousness represented by Devi always surges from the peak. On this first day of Navratri, we We prostrate to Devi Chaila Putri so that we may also attain the highest state of consciousness. Second day, Brahma Charan. 
On the second day, Devi Brahmacharini is is worshipped. Devi Brahmacharini is the form of Devi Parvati in which she undertook to wear penance to have Lord Shiva as her consort. Brahma means divine consciousness and Acha refers to, the, to behavior. Brahmacharya is the behavior or act that is established in, the, in divine consciousness. This day is especially sacred to meditate and explore our inner divinity. Third day, Chandraganta. On the third day, Devi Chandraganta is, is the presiding Devi. Chandraganta is the special form of that Devi Parvati, assumed at time of her marriage with Lord Shiva. Chandra refers to the moon. The moon represents our mind. The mind is restless and keeps moving from one thought to another. Ganta is a bell which puts which produce only one kind of sound always. The significance of, the, of this is when our mind is established to one point. Divine then our prana, subtle life force energy, gets con control leading to harmony and peace. This day thus signifies withdrawing from all, all thoughts of the mind with a single focus on Mother Diva. Fourth day. Kushmanda. On the fourth day, Mother Divine is worshipped as Devi Kushmanda. Kushmanda means a pumpkin. Ku means little and Ushmanda means energy and Ananda refers to an egg. This entire universe which arose from the cosmic, cosmic egg is manifested from the efficient energy of Devi. A pumpkin also represents prana. It is also a unique property of absorbing the radiating prana. It is also one of the most panic vegetables. On this day, we worship Devi Kushmanda, who showers us with her, div with her divinity. Fifth day, Kam Kanmanda. Kamanta means mother of Sanka. On the fifth day, motherly aspect, Devi Parvati is worshipped in this form. She is the mother of Lord of Lord Kartikeya. She represents motherly affection. Worshipping this form of the Devi br brings abundance of wisdom, wealth, power, prosperation, and liberty. Sixth day, Katyani. On the, on the sixth day, Devi manifests as Katyani. It is a form that Mother Divine assumed to, to an annihilate the demonic forces of the universe. She was born from the anger of the gods. She, she is the one who slayed Mahishasura. As per our scriptures, our scriptures, anger that supports dharma, righteousness, is acceptable. Devi Katyani represents the divine principle of the form, Mother Divine, who is behind natural calamities and disasters. She is the anger that arises in the creation that restores balance. Devi Katyani is invoked on all six days to put an end to our inner forces and our and our obstacles the path of spiritual evolution. Seventh day, Kalaratri. On the seventh day, we invoke Devi Kalaratri. Mother Nature has two extremes. One is terrifying and and devastating. The other is beautiful and scenery. Devi Kalaratri is a fierce form of Devi. Kalaratri represents the dark night. Night is also considered an aspect of Mother Divine as it, as it is the bring of solace, rest, and comfort to our soul. It is the only night that we get a glimpse of our infinity in the sky. Devi Kalaratri is the infinite dark energy that houses immeasurable inverse. Eight day, Mahagauri. Devi Mahagauri is that which beautiful gives momentum and freedom in life. Mahagauri represents the beautiful and scenic aspect of nature. She is the she is the energy which which propels our lives and also liberates us. She is the Devi who is worshipped on the eighth day. 
ninth day, Siddhi Dati. On the ninth day, we worship Devi Siddhi Dati. Siddhi means perfection. Devi Siddhi Dati brings perfection in life. She makes the impossible possible. She takes us beyond an ever-reasoning, logical mind to explore the realm beyond time and space. Thank you for listening, and Sitaram. That is the end of what you got come. Thank you very much, Sanya. And as we continue along, uh, we could continue with some versions. So I'd like to ask Sati Chansi to do the next version for us, uh, followed by uh, Mrs. Singh and Auntie Joy, and then we have our catechism session. Thank you, Sitaram. Namaste again. उसको नहीं देखा हमने कभी पर इसकी जरूरत क्या होगी ऐ माँ ऐ माँ तेरी सूरत से अलग भगवान की सूरत क्या होगी क्या होगी उसको नहीं देखा हमने कभी इंसान तो क्या देवता भी आंचल में पले तेरे मैं स्वर गई से दुनिया में कर्मों के तले तेरे ममता हिलो ते जिसके नयम ओ ममता हिलो ते जिसके नयम ऐसे कोई मूर्त क्या होगी ऐ माँ ऐ माँ तेरी सूरत से अलग भगवान की सूरत क्या होगी क्या होगी उसको नहीं देखा हमने कभी क्यों धूप जले दुखों की क्यों कमले घटा पर से ये हाथ जुआ वो वाले रहते हैं सतासर पे तू है तो अंधेरे पन में हमने ओ तू है तो अंधेरे पन में हमने सूरज की जरूरत क्या होगी ऐ माँ ऐ माँ तेरी सूरत से अलग भगवान की सूरत क्या होगी क्या होगी उसको नहीं देखा हमने कभी कहते हैं तेरी शान में जो कोई ऊंचे बोल नहीं भगवान के पास भी माता तेरे प्यार का मोल नहीं हम तो यही जाने तुझसे पड़ी ओ हम तो यही जाने तुझसे पड़ी संसार की दाऊल क्या होगी ऐ माँ ऐ माँ तेरी सूरत से अलग भगवान की सूरत क्या होगी क्या होगी उसको नहीं देखा हमने कभी नमस्ते The bhajan says, you alone are our mother and father. You alone are the brother and the friend. 
you are our dearest companion and support. Without you, we have no one else. You are the boat and you are the boatman who will take us across this ocean of life. We are those flowers which could not blossom. Lord, we are the dust that finds a welcome place at your lotus feet. Please be merciful unto us. Tumhi ho mata pita, tumhi ho, tumhi ho bandhu sakha, tumhi ho. Tumhi ho mata pita, tumhi ho, tumhi ho bandhu sakha, tumhi ho. Tumhi ho saati. तुम ही सहारे कोई न अपना सिवा तुम्हारे आ तुम ही हो साथी तुम ही सहारे कोई न अपना सिवा तुम्हारे तुम ही हो नैया तुम ही खीवा तुम ही हो बंधु सखा तुम ही हो तुम ही हो माता पिता तुम ही हो तुम ही हो बंधु सखा तुम ही हो जो खेल सके ना वो फूल हम है तुम्हारे चरणों कि डोल हम है आ जो खेल सके ना वो फूल हम है तुम्हारे चरणों की डोल हम है दया की दृष्टि सदा ही रखना तुम ही हो बंधु सखा तुम ही हो तुम ही हो माता पिता तुम ही हो तुम ही हो बंधु सखा तुम ही हो तुम ही हो बंधु सखा तुम ही हो थैंक यू नमस्ते वेलकम टू दिस इवनिंग्स कैटेगरीज़म नाउ लास्ट वीक वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट um duty and i said um we would try to speak about swadharma and swabhava um but i decided and said to talk about uh, um something that i have spoken about before pancha mahayajna which is um what our daily duty should be okay so um i spoke about this a long time ago but i thought i would revisit it since it it speaks about what actions are required from us on a daily basis this is very important you know sometimes you think we need to do these great things and we need to go on a pilgrimage and we need to do so many other things when the lord has put it out so nicely here this is in chapter 3 of the bhagavad gita and the karma yoga course the yoga of action so the pancha mahayajna simply means the mahayajna of course the greatest yajna and it's five now before we even look at it we would you would need to understand what is a yajna people often get confused and they they think of of you know these big elaborate seven nights and nine nights and all of this where you have uh, your your murti your rituals you know your puja and then a discourse and so on and of course attendant to that is great expense so it it may turn people off simply because it is prohibitively expensive and then you have the other option where people um, this is their their opportunity to show to everyone 
their material abundance, their largesse. So forgetting all of this, the Lord explains exactly what is yajna. And he says all actions, all actions can become yajna if we have the right frame of mind. And what is the right frame of mind that he's speaking about? Selflessness. Where we think not only of ourselves in a selfish manner, but of others also. Recognizing the divinity in all forms of life. Okay? So, I will, I will explain more and more about the Ajna as we go along. But I will start with with the, I will start uh, enumerating and explaining the five different yajnas that the Lord. Now, this all five should be done daily, not once a week or once a month, but daily. And the, he, the Lord even goes so far as to say, a day past bereft of the performance of yajna is a day gone to waste. And when we say waste, of course, we're talking about in a spiritual sense. So these are nitya karma or obligatory. First and foremost is deva yajna, which is the worship of God. And of course, invariably, we should begin the day praising God and thanking God for what we have, that we are able to wake up and at least to be in a state of health when you think of others who may not be so fortunate, you know, to be to be grateful is something very important that so many people need to, to learn. You see people who are just very ungracious all around us and it is not a good quality. So this is the first one, Deva Yajna and the worship of God. And there are many ways that you can do this. You can sit in a room and you offer flowers. You can offer some sort of action. You know, everybody has their own, own, um, own, what, what may be appealing to them. And so, but it is very important that you remember God. And it isn't only that you start the day thinking of that, but it should be during the day you think of God. Okay. So Deva Yajna is not uh, limited to 10 minutes in the morning. And maybe 10 minutes at night when you say a, a prayer before you sleep. But it should be where God is on your mind all day long. So clearly if God is on your mind all day long, you can't be engaging in wrong activities. Immoral activities, unethical activities, corrupt activities. Adharmic activities. So okay, so that is Deva Yajna. The second one is Rishi Yajna. Now, what does this mean? The adoration of the enlightened. Very important word, adoration. So if we want to say that maybe our guru is enlightened or you have sages and saints and so on, really this is what it is all about. So it is adoration but not worship. Remember, worship is only reserved for the infinite. Purushottama Guru, which is the ultimate, which is Ishwara, Lord Krishna, however you want to refer to God. Worship is only for the Lord. Adoration, respect, understanding, being humble and understanding what, what these people may be able to teach you. You, you show appreciation for it. So out of compassion, the Lord says, for the ignorant humanity, they have passed them on to posterity in the form of scriptures, sacred books. There are many that we can we can purchase, you know, people who have done commentaries on, on, the, on the Bhagavad Gita or the Vedas, the Upanishads, whatever it may be. This is what we're talking about here. So expounding the holy scriptures with a devotional attitude is also an aspect of this type of yajna. It's not about, so you can be teaching people, talking, explaining, but not, this must be done free of ego. 
we are explaining the Lord's words and it is only through the gift of life and the gift of insight from God that we are able to share. Nothing we do is really us doing it, but we are like instruments. And the, the sooner we realize this and the more we learn to appreciate this, the, our ego will, will be edged out. The next one is Pitru Yajna. And we know this is when we honor our ancestors. And we don't also, we, it is not only for people who have died. It is for the elderly, where we show respect, our parents, people who, you know, older ones who have gone, people who are still there with us and we hold that respect for these people. This is another type. Okay, we can't forget where we have come from. The elders in our community, the elders in our family, this sort of thing. We must show respect and regard. Also, when we have um, the period set aside to recite prayers and to make offerings, for our departed ancestors, this is also part and parcel of this. So when that time comes around, the Tripaksh, and we do this, this is also part of it, but th we are talking about every day. So you can't have your parent living with you or or, or, or you, you never go and visit your parents and you show no regard for your parents. And this is what it is talking about. The fourth one is Narayajna. And what is Narayajna? Narayajna is service to mankind at all levels and in all fields all human beings are part of a group of their of a larger being if you want to look at it that sort of a, a metaphor like that and we all depend on each other no one person can do everything in one of the previous talks, I was using the example of if if a garbage collectors stop picking up garbage, what would happen? And this is what we're talking about. We should not judge anybody because of their vocation, because of their occupation. We must learn to respect. Respect people because we know the divine is present in all beings. No one is higher than the other. The Lord says to us over and over, and he says it and uh, underlines it, underscores it in the Upanishads where he is equally present in all beings. And uh, in um, chapter 11 of the Bhagavad Gita, Vishwa Rupa Darshan Yoga, the Lord speaks of this saying, see him, see who, see God in the entire universe and see the universe as God. So the person who places a public interest above the personal and acts accordingly is doing Narayajna. And well, we know in this age, there is definite need for this. And this is why this is a, 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 an essential component of Seva, which is the recommended thing for this age in Karma Yoga, the Yoga of Action. The other, another one is Bhuta Yajna. This is a fifth. Our tradition is so beautiful. Even non-human life is recognized. And the Lord speaks of Bhuta Yajna, a reverent relationship with all living beings. All living beings. You show respect you treat there you should not be cruel in your treatment of any animal of course if it is something that's threatening your life that is a different story but people who keep animals and treat them you know you, you i'm sure many of us would know individuals who may keep dogs or cats or whatever and they they don't feed them they don't spay or neuter them and then you have 
a million puppies suffering or a million kittens suffering. And this is what? All of this is sinful action. This is a dharmic action. If you cannot take care of, of an animal, don't own one. And it takes nothing out of you to be kind. This is what this is what the Lord is talking about here. In the Christian tradition, they talk about stewardship. Stewardship of nature and of all non-human life. And this is exactly what it is. A reverent, a reverent relationship. Just the same way before we talked about adoration, not, not worship. So ethical treatment. We have to be moral beings. We can't we can't pray on a Sunday as a lot of people are want to do. And then for the rest of the week, you behave like a rakshasa. Your lifestyle is rotten. Then we are only fooling ourselves. So work, even your work, work performed with the right frame of mind gets converted into yachna. So when we talk about um, uh, becoming, uh, attaining moksha in this life, this, the Lord has given us a prescription here. This is what we must do. It is whether we wish to take the advice and to follow it. So many of us would like to sit and listen to all these lectures on philosophy. And we want to read all the texts, but nothing is wrong with that. But you know, at least put something into practice. And it's for all of us. These are lessons and in the Hindu tradition, we cannot say that we don't know what we should be doing. 5,000 plus years ago, and all of this is still applicable because they are universal teachings. They are not um, bound or limited by time or space. It, it, it was true then and it is still true now. When we also perform things in a selfless way, we understand that people would now be more willing. If you do something and you're kind to someone, they would be more willing to be kind to you and you have that sort of ripple effect. Now you're not doing it for that reason, for selfish, you know, that you want to get, I will do this like a transaction. I will, I will help. Govinda because Govinda will have to know he will be indebted to me and he will have to know that is not that is not motive the Lord is saying is very important it must be selfless so he says the effect of that work assumes a subtle force and that force is called a purva and this is what it means it's just a big Sanskrit word meaning that it, it will be, it will come back to you. You know how we say in physics, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This is exactly what this is. So if we are all kind hearted beings and we try to help each other, people will, let's, let's be, let's be logical. If they had a choice, they would want to help the persons who have helped them. And even if they can't help the person who has helped them, if someone treats somebody in a nice way, it puts you in a better frame of mind where you would not want to help another person. Just how we say a smile is infectious. Kind words. So when we talk about duty, the Lord has explained exactly what is duty for us. He's given us the Pancha Mahayachna, which is every single day every single day nara yajna you can feed the poor you can feed a bird bhuta yajna every day you can feed an animal a stray animal you can contribute towards a spay or neuterine program all of these things you know we we we, we have become so um 
myopic in our vision where we think it's only about celebrating Naratri by going to the temple and only doing puja and all of that. Nothing is wrong with that. But the Lord wants us to transform our lives. And this is how we will transform our lives. By what we do every day. Not only on one day or certain days, but every day. Then whatever our lifestyle will now become a yajna. Because it is now directed to the service of God. Doing ethical things, moral things, spiritual things, dharmic things. And then when you think about it in a microcosmic sense, if people within your household, you treat each other this way, within, you, within your, your community, you treat, and it's so it expands until in the, in the world itself, in your country. And so it, it expands because positive, positive action, it has that ripple effect. Just the same way when we say we get together here to sing and so on, and we send out positive vibrations. It's because it's supposed to be something selfless. We're not singing or chanting here for ourselves alone. We're trying to make our surroundings more positive. Charged with positive energy so that we can become and we can help others who may be low. Maybe having a bad day or, or not well or whatever. So the essence of duty is to be selfless. Perform our actions, perform our duty to the best of our ability. Don't shirk our responsibilities. But let it always be guided by what is dharmic, what is right, what is morally right, ethically right and spiritually right. So I will remind you again of the Pancha Maha Yajna. We talk about Deva Yajna, Rishi Yajna, Pitru Yajna, Nara Yajna, and Bhuta Yajna. So I hope I have I have this Pancha Maha Yajna on my refrigerator to give me a reminder of every single day. Every single day that I should be doing all of these things. So let's all try to make a start. All right. I thank you very much for listening. Namaste. Thank you very much, Shanti Shansi, for our catechism today. Uh, so we're just about um, coming to the end of our time. Uh, so before we exceed our um, a lot of time this evening. I'd like to ask um, Mrs. Singh to lead us in our closing. Thanks to everyone for joining and being part of this united effort where we can all come together and worship as one family. We now get ready for prayer, our closing mantras. Om Asitoma Sadegamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityurma Mritam Gamaya Om Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhu Chasekatvameva, Tvameva Vidya, Dravinam Tvameva, Tvameva Saravam, Mama Deva Deva, Tvameva Saravam, Mama Deva Deva, Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Hari Om. Sit Ram, everyone, and thanks again.